Hi everyone, Matt here, and today we're going to be talking about the DJI Mini 3 Pro and why it's still worth it even though the DJI Air 3 is out. Let's get into it. So a lot of people out there are probably very confused on what drone they should be purchasing at this point in time. As you already know, DJI has released the DJI Air 3 and a lot of people are loving that drone because it has a 24 millimeter lens and it also has a 70 millimeter lens. And that lens combination is absolutely fabulous. And it also came out with a new sensor. So basically the DJI Air 3 has a new sensor, two of the best lenses you can get and OcuSync 4.0, which is absolutely incredible. You can go like miles away and you don't have to worry about losing connection with that drone. So why in the world would anybody want to buy this drone right here? The DJI Mini 3 or the DJI Mini 3 Pro? What reason is there? Well, I'm about to tell you a couple reasons why this drone is still an amazing drone and you should not cross it off your list of drones to buy. The first reason is the price. The price of the DJI Mini 3 Pro starts at $759. If you were to get the more expensive package, which I honestly recommend, it starts at $909. So this drone comes in at the cheapest of all the DJI drones. So honestly, it's a really good deal for anybody looking to start flying any kind of drone. And it's an amazingly easy freaking drone to fly and you're gonna love it. It's an amazing drone that you can just pack away in your pocket. And that's where we come to number two. The second reason why you should buy this drone is because it's so easy to pack away. I can just throw this thing in any backpack. Heck, I could probably put this in my coat pocket or my pants pocket. Look at this drone is, this drone is tiny. I mean, look at the thing. You can take this drone anywhere and everywhere and be discreet and nobody's gonna even know the wiser. This drone is absolutely incredible for multiple different reasons, but that is probably one of my favorite reasons is it's so small, I can take it anywhere. And if I wanna get some cool shots in the woods with the size of this thing, I mean, look at it. It's so tiny. We're gonna open this thing up here. Like I can fly this in the woods, no problem, because it's so small. I mean, these bigger drones out there, they can be a pain and scary to fly in the woods. First, because they're so big, and second, because they're expensive. This little guy here is smaller and I can fit this thing through a lot of tighter spots and get some cool cinematic shots that you probably can't even get with some of the bigger drones because they're bigger. The DJI Mini 3 Pro and the DJI Mini 3 are excellent drones for what they are. And the cameras that are packed on these things, the camera that is on this is absolutely phenomenal. Nobody's gonna say, oh, that footage looks awful. No, they're gonna say, man, that's some really cool drone footage you got. Not only is it great for 400 feet in the air, but it's also great for in the woods or in down, down a street or wherever. I mean, look at this thing. It can go anywhere. So don't let anybody tell you that this drone is old news because I'm here to tell you it's not old news. It's an amazing tool for anybody out there. And the really sick thing about this drone is so this drone, okay, a lot of people would say, oh, this is a great drone to begin flying with. Okay, it is, it's, an, it's a great drone to begin flying with. It's a great drone to learn how to fly a drone. It's phenomenal for that. But the thing is, okay, this drone is still a tool for even a professional. So let's so say you're somebody that is wanting to create content for YouTube. So you wanna make YouTube videos, okay? Or you wanna do a wedding, you wanna take, take this drone out and do weddings with it. Do like the opening shots of somebody's wedding and you wanna create wedding videos. This drone is perfect for that. So it is, is perfect for professional situations and it's also perfect for anybody that wants to learn to fly a drone. So this, this drone is gonna grow with you and it's gonna be a tool that you're gonna use from now and always. You're not gonna sell this drone. Even though the new drone comes out, this drone still is amazing. Even if the newer DJI Mavic 4 comes out, okay? And say it's 10 times better. This drone's still good. This drone's not bad in any way, shape, or form. This drone is still an amazing tool and you're gonna be able to get some amazing shots with it. So if you're waiting for the best next thing to come out, down DJI's pipeline, okay? Don't wait for the next big thing, thinking that I'm gonna wait to fly, I'm gonna wait till the next thing comes out before I start flying a drone. I'm telling you right now, start flying your drone today. If this is the drone that you can afford, okay, 
this, say the DJI Air 3 is just a little bit too expensive for you, or you're just a little too nervous to go out and buy that drone, okay? Okay, that's fine. Look at this drone, okay? And, and, and heck, if you can find the DJI Mini 2, okay, buy that drone. That drone's even cheaper yet. Or buy this second hand. Don't wait any longer, guys. If you want to fly a drone and you want to get out there and just see what it's like to uh, fly drones, I'm telling you right now, this is not a hard hobby to get into. And it's not honestly that expensive to get into. It's, it's, it's fairly cheap to get into because a lot of hobbies out there are way more expensive than flying a drone. So just don't wait anymore. Go out there, fly a drone, enjoy some stuff, get some cool shots, take some cool pictures, get some cool videos. This is a amazingly powerful tool. And it, it's honestly really amazing that this is actually as cheap as it is because you have to think 10 years ago, okay? What did we have? You know, you were paying this much for just a regular digital camera, okay? For a, de a, a decent digital camera. You now have the ability to have a camera that can fly in the air at excess speeds, okay? Uh, and get some shots that you could never even have dreamt of, okay? This drone is out now, okay? And it's, it's not that expensive. It's super fun to fly. You can get some shots in like tight spots. This drone is still amazing. The DJI Air 3 is amazing too. The DJI Mavic 3 Pro is amazing. But this drone is amazing in its own sense because it's so packable, it's so easy to fly, and I love it. I just, I use this drone a lot, like a ton. Even though I have the Mavic 3 Pro, the, I have two act, I have two Mavic 3, I have a Mavic 3 Pro and a Mavic 3. I have those two drones. I have this. I have a whole bunch of FPV drones. I have the DJI Avada. But this drone right here, my wife loves to fly this drone. Why do you think my wife likes to fly this drone? Because first off, if she crashes it, it's the cheapest drone, okay? And second is it's easy to fly. It's less, it's less scary to fly this drone for some reason. Maybe it's because it's so small. I, I don't know. But like, most people out there are less scared to fly this drone than any of the other drones. So like the mini is just an amazing drone. Like I said earlier, it's an amazing drone to learn to fly. Okay. But it's also an amazing drone that's going to grow with you. This drone is going to grow with you and take you places you've never thought possible. And you're probably, I'm not going to lie. This is probably like the gateway to drones. So you're probably going to buy this drone and be like, oh, this is not so bad. And then you're gonna buy you're gonna buy the DJI Air 3, or you're gonna buy the Mavic 3 Pro, and you're probably gonna go get your drone license, and then you're probably gonna start making money with drones, and then you're gonna be like, I'm glad I listened to Matt in that YouTube video that time to get not wait around and just get the DJI Mini 3 or the DJI Mini 3 Pro or whatever drone, just get out there and fly a drone, and don't care about the newest and greatest thing because the best tool for you is the tool you have. So you can cr get creative and get amazing stuff with whatever you have. And I just, I just wanna let you guys know, just stop waiting and just buy this damn thing. It's amazing and you're gonna love it. All right, so this is, this is the size difference between these two drones. As you can see here, the Mini is a tiny, tiny drone. I mean, look at the darn thing. It's amazing. This drone I fly probably more so recreationally and just, not so much professionally. I mean, I have moved on professionally to like the bigger drones, but I honestly use this drone a ton, an absolute ton, because it's just, it's a great packable drone and that's worth something, okay? That's, that's why this drone is worth what it is. And it's honestly worth more than what it is because it is just so darn convenient to take this thing everywhere. Like, honestly. So yeah, I mean, Definitely buy the DJI Air 3 if that's what you want. If you want the two camera setup, the DJI Air 3 is definitely an amazing drone. And you're gonna love that drone. It's a great price too. The DJI Air 3 is, gosh, we can go on about that too. Like the DJI Air 3 is an absolutely amazing drone too. And I'm actually gonna post a link to that, a video I created on that drone. So please feel free to watch that after this video. But the DJI Air 3 value is phenomenal. But not everybody I understand can afford the DJI Air 3. Don't think that you're missing out a whole ton if you're first getting into drones and you just don't want to swing that extra couple bucks to get a drone. It's okay. 
get this drone start out with this guy because it's going to be your gateway into the DJI Air 3 and I guarantee you I guarantee you if you buy this drone you're gonna buy a DJI Air 3 because you're gonna see just how easy it is to actually fly drones and how not scary it is to fly drones and, and another thing that I just want to let you guys know is like if you're you're new into the flying drone space so if you're like a new person out there that wants to learn how to fly drones I'm just gonna tell you right now definitely get the care refresh on your drone the DJI care refresh that you can get get the just go for the two years get the max amount that you can get because that's gonna save your butt like say you do wreck this into a tree or whatever it's gonna save your butt and you're gonna be so glad that you have it the and it's it's a it's a great insurance to have on your drone just just throwing it out there just I just want to throw that out there DJI is not paying me to say any of this this is my own personal experience I have you don't you don't want to know how many drones I have I have so many drones and I bought them all with my own money DJI does not send me any drones there this is all I bought all my drones with my own money I got like I said, I, I, don't, I won't even go through how many drones I have, but I just want to let you know I'm probably a total drone geek when it comes to drones, but like, honestly, like, drones are so much fun, and you can make money with these things fairly easy if you want to do real estate photography. I mean, you can use this drone for real estate photography. I mean, if you're a realtor out there and you sell houses, you want to you wanna do something really helpful for yourself and you want to sell a lot more houses, go get your drone license okay go to the faa pass your test go to your go to an airport pass your test get your drone license buy this drone take pictures of all the houses that you want to sell on your own you're going to save money because you literally are doing this yourself you're going to make those houses look a lot better because you're getting aerial shots of them and you're you just made use of this drone and this drone is going to pay itself off on the flip side of that if you're somebody like myself that offers your services to people i do real estate photography for real estate agents all the time like a lot of real estate agents don't want to go through all the hoop and nanny to go out and get their part 107 and learn how to fly a drone there's a lot of people that just want to pay somebody to fly a drone so that's great for you and i i mean the person watching this video is probably like very interested in flying drones so if you want to make money fairly simply Go offer your services to real estate agents. Go around to all the local real estate agents and give them, hey, I am a part 107 holder. I passed my part 107 license. I will take pictures for you, X amount of dollars. Call me at so-and-so, you know, create an LLC, create your own business. You can start your own business off of buying this drone right here, taking pictures of houses. That's gonna open the doors up so you can buy more and more drones and just, it's going to be like an ongoing thing where you're going to just be able to buy more and more gear because you're making money off of the gear you're using. You know, heck, start creating YouTube content with about drones, kind of like I'm doing right now. I mean, fly drones, just do like really cool cinematic stuff, post that stuff up on YouTube, get monetized on YouTube. That's going to create revenue for you to buy more and more stuff. And it's just going to be like this ongoing thing where you're just going to keep buying gear and then the gear is going to pay itself off because you're you're making money off of the gear you're buying. So that's one of the great things about this kind of gear is like, it can make you money and it's a skill. You're, you're creating a skill for your, you're, you're having a skill all because of a drone. So go out there, buy your first drone. If you already have a drone, you probably already know that DJI Mini 3 Pro is an absolutely incredible drone. All those DJI Mini 3 Pro fans out there, let me know in the comments how much you love your drone. And if you are gonna be getting the DJI Air 3, also let me know in the comments. I wanna hear what you guys have to say. I honestly am very curious to what you guys have to say to this video. I've been talking about a lot of stuff with DJI and how much I love their drones and stuff. Like, honestly, DJI makes the best drones out there. Nobody out there can touch DJI. They make the, the best c drones, period. Nobody. Skydio doesn't touch them. Altel doesn't touch them. DJI is number one in my book. And I think a lot of you would agree. But if you don't agree, let me know, know in the comments below. I'd really like to hear what you got to say. But that's going to be the end of this video because we've been going a long time about this little drone and how incredible it is and how much I love it. It's honestly turned into a kind of rant video. So I, I apologize for the rant video. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. It's, it's incredible. Um, you guys really mean a lot to me. Thank you for everybody that's been subscribing and chatting with me in the comments below. Uh, it, it's just, it's incredible. I, uh, the, the community that's, that's out there with, with that loves drones is there's no one better than the drone joining community. I, I can't think of anybody that flies a drone that I, I wouldn't love. You know what I mean? Like everyone that flies drones, we usually, we usually connect pretty well. So 
I just want to say thank you so much for everybody out there for chatting with me in the comments and just yeah it's been it's been a blast creating these these videos for you guys so i really do enjoy it so anyway thanks again for watching subscribe to the channel if you do i i would appreciate it and like this video please give this video a like it would really mean a lot to me it'll help this video get boosted in the algo algorithm and help me get monetized on this channel as i am not currently monetized but i am very 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 close so maybe maybe soon i'll be monetized and i would i would have all of you to thank for that so anyway thanks again for watching and i will see you in the next one. Bye now.